What's up guys? It's King Daddy Dmac and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. We're on the vanilla server. Oh yeah, over at the D McDonald's. I've been working real hard trying to get this thing, trying to get all the decorations done so we can move on. Let me just kind of show you what we did real quick. We're not going to be spending today in here though. We are actually we'll talk about that in just a moment. Trying to figure out Still don't know what we're going to sell. These are kind of just mock-up decorations for now. As far as possible things, I was even thinking maybe we could somehow make this into like mob drops or something and sell like slime balls and bone meal and all sorts of stuff like that because there's no shops, I don't think, around here for mob drops. That might be a possibility. We got potions, mob drops, the fish, the fish shop. There is a fish shop, but I don't know how well stocked it is. But we're coming along here. I think and it's looking good. I added in quartz ceiling over here. Going along the side. Been trying to, you can see I'm playing around with bushes. Trying to get the, the lighting hidden so that we don't have to have any torches in here. And I think it's coming along. We added in the flowers last time. And yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I upgraded the, <laughs> finally, the pressure plates. I forgot about the fact that you can now go on iron pressure plates as a player. I don't think you could do that before. I still got a little more hiding to do. And we still have the playscape as well. My goodness, this is just the project that never ends. Anyway, today, the main thing that I'd like to do, we have coming up this weekend, yes, this weekend, finally, the Abacaving Trial. Yeah, for Schism and Pungence. Those rascals will finally, finally reveal whether they're actually guilty or not but yeah last time we built the trap it was, it was a success i caught myself a schism and of course i had i hope you guys watch this video of course i had a little way for him to get out just in case he didn't have a diamond pickaxe on him well, that was pretty funny but yeah um i might be end up being taking on another job and being the lead prosecutor in the court case as well I don't know. I'm not too prepared for it. So we'll see how that ends up working out. But I do think I need uh, it's I'm probably somewhat obligated to uh, to go out and remind everybody, leave books at everyone's bases and let them know that the trials this weekend, it's going to be on Saturday. At least it's going to go live on YouTube on Saturday. So make sure not to miss out. Ooh, chunk loading air. But I thought it might be kind of fun while we're dropping off the books. We can go around and take a look at everybody's base. Because we haven't, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I've done a world tour at all. A server tour at all in uh, in Hermitcraft since since the uh, since the update. I'm not even sure how many bases there are. Hopefully we get to them all today. So I'm going to write myself up a little, a little, what, what are they called? Is it called summons or jury duty? Or a little book like that, and we can go drop them off at everyone's base. I think that should be pretty cool. So, I'll see you guys right back. Okay, we are back, we are back. Here's our book, it's called Jury Summons, and it says, Dear Hermit, the new Hermiton Court summons you to appear for jury duty. Please report to the court assembly room in New Hermiton this Saturday. Thank you. And I want to try and see if this works. Cleo, I asked Cleo, how do you, how do you make copies of books? And she said, look at that. Awesome. Oh, baby. Does this make three? <gasps> oh, every time I've done a book and I had to put out several copies, I always did it. Oh, baby. I always did it all like individually. I did not know you could do this. Oh, that is so good. Okay, okay. So, who's going to be at the court case? Um, I'd like to go, just because it's kind of like a server tour, I'd like to go to everyone's individual base outside of the spawn town, but a few people do not have, do not have their own bases. So, um, I don't, I'm, we'll see, I don't think TFC is able to get online now to come but we'll we'll still try and get to his base but joe hills joe hills has been coming back a little bit more active on the server i don't think he has his own spawn play or his own base but why don't we go i don't know if i've ever been inside the ufo 
<laughs> oh man, look at all these. Those potatoes. Alright, so his mailbox, this is Joe Hill's little UFO. His mailbox, actually, I think he said it's over in front of Cleo's thing down here. Alright. So give one to Joe Hill, see if he can come. In fact, Joe might even make a good judge, possibly, since he's not really been a part of this whole situation. Okay, so we got Joe Hills. I think that might be everyone here. I think I'm going to leave Monkey Farms over here as well. We haven't really seen his tree, which is pretty cool. Monkey Farm. Let's go take a look in his tree real quick. And he doesn't have a wool to change. There's his donkey. As he likes to refer to him, his ass. Um. Oh, oh this is sweet. Look at He's got the old school minecart elevator. Oh, I used to love those things. I completely forgot about them. So here's his tree. It's got a real nice view of spawn. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Where does this go to? All right, so possible future layer or future level for his base. Really came out nice. Let's look at it from over here. Yeah, he did a great job with that. Awesome. Um, we got Spumwack. I don't. I think Spumwack's been working on another base outside of spawn. I'm not sure. I, I might just drop off his book here just in case. Ooh, that looks nice inside. I haven't been inside since he did improvements. How do I get down there? Oh, this is sweet. Very nice living room. And his mailbox. Where does his mailbox go? Is this his mailbox? Yeah, looks like his mailbox. All right, jury summons. Hope you can make it there, Spumwack. Very nice, very nice. All right, and let's head over. I think the other people that are nearby. We have Schism, but Schism's... He, he's the one of the people that's being accused, so he can't get jury duty. Let's run over to Slipgator's base. And we have Ijevin and Hypno. They're all close by. So let's see. I think this is to Slips right here. Let's go head over and see. Hello, Mr. Pigman. You want to come too? Oh, nice. And Slip recently just uploaded the fact that he finished. I think he finished the ribbon. Isn't that crazy? Let's see. I think this is the drop down. Whoa. Wow, that's a long drop. Awesome. All right, so that brings him to here. Whoa, look at that. That's insane. How, how high up are we right now? We are at Y of 91. So this is pretty high up. So that's a deep drop. My goodness, Slip. Oh, that's cool. And look at he has like a little ravine that's coming out there. This is just such a beautiful build. I have to say, he really outdid himself with the ribbon. Oh my goodness. All right, so where's his mailbox? Somewhere around here. I would imagine it would be a ground level. Maybe over here. Oh, I think this is where he got Mumbo to do... Get out of here, Skelly. Oh, this is where he's gonna have his new redstone door. And Mumbo did that for him. Because Mumbo has the, uh, the whole redstone uh, consultancy. All right, cool. And then there's the whole subway thing that Exuma Void's doing to a bunch of different people's bases. So I'm sorry, Slip. I don't know where your mailbox is. Um, I guess I will throw it right in here. That's where Cleo's been dropping stuff off. Awesome. Why don't we head over to uh, Hypnospace next? Oh my, that is so beautiful. I got to take a screenshot. I got to take a screenshot. Oh man, that looks so amazing. The sunset. We're over at Hypnos. And another base that just put so much good, like, huge amount of time into. He cleared out this whole area flat. Put in all this water. And look at that. He added sand in. Look at all those glowstone lamps. These towers. Oh, it just looks so amazing. Really love it. Wow. I think we actually visited not too long ago here. But look at that. And that also looks like it goes all the way down to Bedrock. Wow, Hypno. It's got all of his donkey farm over there. Let's just go down here. Oh, 
man, it looks amazing. Oh wow, and this actually his he's got all of his his chests in here. These this looks a lot kind of like his his old uh, jungle. What is it? His jungle pyramid base. What's got going on over here? Okay, smelting thing area. Wow. Man, we are really slacking. Look at how amazing this place is. I assume, where does the stairs go down for the next level? Does it just go down to here? Or where? They're somewhere around here. But yeah, this goes all the way down to bedrock. And it looks like he's got most of the next level done, too. Oh, such a cool base. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's the stairs going down to the next level. All right, we'll go down. We'll go down. It looks like he's in the midst of working on this level right now. But man, great job. Great job. Let's go. Let's find his mailbox. Let's see. Keep on going up here. I swear these blend in these stairs so well. Uh, I always miss them. All right. So his portal. There's TFC. His portal's over here. You know what I forgot to bring with us? His chests. Oh, I made a whole stack of them. Um, you know what? Hypno wouldn't technically be jury duty either because he's on the prosecution. He's the one accusing them of being the thieves. What do they call? Is that the plaintiff? I forget. I forget. But so I guess we don't leave a book for Hypno because he already knows about the trial. He's the reason we're having the trial. All right. Cool. So, two down, kind of. Three, four down, maybe? Let's go on. I'm seeing a little a little thing over here for Spumlax. To Muse Manufacturing, a division of Spumco. Alright, let's go check this out. I will meet you guys there. Alright, he did. It's a pretty long tunnel. He's got all these things going on of cobblestone. I don't know what the deal is. Whether these are... I don't know what he's got going on here. I'm not going to really look into it in case it's something that's not finished. That's pretty cool. It's probably actually moving most of his stuff over here. Whoa! Where the heck are we? Oh, this is his big mob trap. Holy cow, this thing is enormous! Alright, so I have a feeling this isn't... Whoa! And that's his gold farm. All right, cool. Man, these are just the big rage nowadays. These these big uh, things for the uh, the pigmen. Let's go hop down. I hope he has a portal down there to get out. Yeah, look at all the sugar cane. Look at this. This guy's probably going picking up. Can you make it? He's like, I think I can. I think I can. It's probably to bring down all of his items. All the drops from the, the mob farms. Cool. Does he have anything further? Is there anything down below? I don't see a door to get in there. So it looks like he's it looks like he's been pretty busy here, of course. So I don't know if that's all he's got. But pretty cool. I like it. That is massive. It's taking so much cobblestone. Anyway, let's drop off. I, I'm gonna This is empty, so let's separate this. And we'll leave another jury summons thing. How many do we have left? Seven? That should be enough, I think. Let's throw that in there. Cool. And let's move on, I guess, over to uh, to Jevons. Whoa! There's like a hurricane or something coming. It's going nuts here. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> so here's Jevons Bays. It looks like he's got his sugar cane farm going. Pretty cool, and that's probably for doing all the villager trades. How do I get into his base? That's a nice little waterfall there. All right, before I forget, diamond hoe. Oh, does he have any chests? Diamond. These are all for villager trades. Do you have anything in here? Oh, I gotta go back and get. Okay, cool. Got a chest. Leave this for Javin so he sees it right when he comes in. And jury duty. Cool. So let me figure out how I get down into his base. Oh, oh. There we go. 
I think he was doing a huge storage thing. I'm not sure if he if he finished with it. Let's see. This looks like it's the back end of it, maybe. Can I get in here? There we go. Yeah, look at this. Oh my goodness. That's so much storage. Who even has enough stuff to fill all these? Wow. It's crazy, Jevin. All right, and let's see something redstoney. Ooh! Oh, I love these things. I love them. I love them. Oh, baby! Oh! <laughs> let's try and step out this time. Oh, I love it! I want one. Okay, so there's Jevin's base, pretty cool. And I know he's been working on some other areas as well, other than just this one. But anyway, I'm gonna go grab some chests and let's head over. I think that's everyone's base that's over near New Hermington. So let's go all, to all the old Hermington folks, the old spawn, where the actual spawn of the game is. All right, guys, let's head out. I actually wanted to talk with you for a moment. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, it's going to be distracting every time it zooms in. Um, I want to talk to you about, we just finished off our first season of the Hermitcraft UHC. And I'm going to adjust that because that's annoying. And yeah, our team, Team Exumavoid, Team DMAC, and Biffa, yeah, we, we won the match. I can't believe it. it it's crazy. My first UHC ever. But... You know, I was kind of disappointed about it because the entire time I did not once, not once, actually run into another player and have a real confrontation the entire time. And that it's kind of, you know, I'm really grateful I was on a team for for the UHC and it's ultimate hardcore, of course. But I feel like in some ways, you know, it was a good learning experience being my first time. But I feel like it kind of took away from from some of it as well, not having to rely on doing everything yourself. Now teams are great of course, because it makes it, I think, sometimes more entertaining to actually be able to watch, um, you know, watch us have a conversation and work together and it's great for teamwork and I love it, but um, I, I really was hoping to see a bit more action. And I was a little, a little like um, passive the entire time because I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't know what's the best to do, so I kind of stood off I kind of just, you know, went with the flow and what everyone else thought was best to do and just tried to be a, a good team player. And I thought it ended up being really cool. I really enjoyed myself. And, um, let's see, sir. All right, Harry took that, so we got another chest. Let's throw this down for him. Boom. And this is Mumbo's base. But anyway, I thought it was a really good time. Now, I'm, I'm hearing that the next UHC is going to be on a weekend, and I'm normally not here on weekends. I take the weekend off and uh, spend it with my girlfriend and with my friends and so forth. So I might not be able to make it. I don't know. But we... <laughs> is that the phone tower? Is that a, 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 a Cora Corizon wireless thing? He's got a really... Mumbo's got a really neat area. I love it. Look at that. And he's just done so much here. It looks great. But the frame rate, my god. This is like as bad, if not worse, than over at spawn. <laughs> I don't know how you deal with a mumble. You must have a beastly computer. And I thought I had a beastly computer, my goodness. All right, here's, here's the underbelly to his base. That's where he has most of his storage. Love that statue. He did that semi-recently in an episode. He looks like he's got a bunch of different mob farms. So cool. And I'm so jelly because I love the whole jungle green green leaves green grass looks so great and it's nighttime right now every time i go to mumbo's and it's night a creeper finds me and blows up which is no good oh look at this enchantment area that's so cool and he's got tons of storage wow how many diamonds you got buddy is that where the diamonds go where are the diamonds there we go whoa Whole bunch of diamonds. You so rich. When he's got even further down lever, uh, he made like a, a thing that goes all the way down, like a mining shaft. And he's able to bring up all the items from way down there and have like conveyor belts or uh, item droppers or whatever. 
push it up in all of his chests. Really cool. I definitely suggest, if you don't know Mumbo already, to go... Oh! To go check him out. I think that was already open. Oh, but he is just an amazing redstoner. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, look at that. Real cool sugarcane farm. Let's see what do we got down here? Man, he's just got so much in here. Another person that's just put so many hours in. He's got his obsidian farm, which is pretty cool. Really like it. Really like it. Um, so as I was saying on the UHC, I, it kind of got me to realize, you know, my channel's really been lacking of much PvP type stuff, whether it be Hunger Games, whether it be just whatever other little mini games. And it's something that I thought would be pretty neat. How do I get out of here? Pretty neat to add in to the channel to maybe like a once a week thing or something like that. Items in, rejected items. So I want to know what you have to say about that. And also, like, what what are good different things, games to play? Because I really don't know. I don't, I don't know any of them. I don't really watch them much. I never really played it much. I'm not a very good PvP player, but it's something I'd like to improve at. So let me know, what are some good popular games right now? What would you guys like to see? And this isn't to replace current videos. It's to try and... What, what I really liked about the UHC was that I've had nearly an upload every single day for the past week or two, or pretty close. And considering I was only uploading between three to four times a week prior, it's just so much easier to record and get in there for those dead days. So let me know, let me know. And we left a book for Mumbo already. So next we have Red Eyes. Let's go check out how he's doing. Oh, something going on here. I just have the worst frame rate problems on Hermitcraft. Oh, and he's got the awesome witch farm right over there. Such a cool base. It's built right into the mountain. It looks so nice. Definitely another guy to go check out. Looks like he's got going on a pigment farm up there. And then he's got on the inside here. If you go the other way. Yeah, look at this. It's nuts. <laughs> he said he made this for me because I was complaining a while ago about how I hated how long it took to smelt, um, smelt things. So he went to show me, uh, you know, in, in this versus modded Minecraft. So he made this to with minecarts. I think you, you put it in there and you throw, I don't have anything to really smelt, but I, I guess I'll throw a piece of wood in. And it goes across and it will drop it off. See, right there. And then if you had coal in there, which probably this one does, or no, that probably does the other side. That probably does the coal. Let's put another piece of wood in there. Let's try this again. Let's go like that. Let's go like this. Let's put that. Let's put a couple bunch of them in there. And if I hit this, do they both go? No, why is Juno go? Move it, buddy. But look at that. It spreads it out and it does like one in each one perfectly. So you're able to just smelt so many things all at once. It's really awesome. And I love the, the design he did in here to give just that, that depth of all the different woods. Oh, it's so cool. Did it empty it? And it emptied it. Emptied it. So he does a lot, of, a lot of innovative and neat stuff that you don't see every day. He's also got this other thing down here. I can never make it up here in time. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> He can make it, but I can't. It, it's it's crazy. And he told me he did it on purpose, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, ooh, what's this? What's this? Oh. Cool. He's got all the neat stuff. So, um, jury duty book. Watch this. Red eyes. You know, let's put it up right by his portal. And hopefully he's able to show. Let's put it right here. And jury duty. Boom. Awesome. So let's move on to the next one. All right. Here we are over at Zombie Cleo's. One of my... One of my top favorite builders on the server. She just does such amazing stuff. Look at that. That's her museum over there. And she just did this. Her this on this pixel art. And that's thank you to I, I think to a lot of I forget what they call them, but it's a, a donator thing. But you did that special. Oh, so nice. And she just loves trapping mobs and just having them chill or work for her and slaves them. 
Isn't that, isn't that crazy? That's so unfair. That's so unfair. How can you be so mean to mobs? <laughs> Maybe that's why I like her so much. I, I love doing evil things to mobs. Oh. <laughs> this is so cool. It's like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And we've seen this before. But she just, her, her base, it's like a museum. And it just has just all these fun little story type things. Oh, it's just so creative. I, I absolutely adore it. I think that was a prank that Exumavoid did to her a long time ago, putting in a fish. We've got th these tree farms. Please do not tap the glass. <laughs> She's got a skeleton. What's this one? This creature ex- Oh, does she- oh, She has a creeper in there? Oh, and she must have put name tags to all of them. It's so awesome! I love this place. And then she enslaves him, puts him to work. There they go. And there's all of her farms, her horses, just so much stuff. My goodness. So anyway, let's go find her library. We gotta start speeding this up because I'm taking too long in people's bases. But, I mean, can you blame me? These... They're just incredible. So massive. Get so much done. I feel really bad now. It takes me six episodes to finish a freaking little McDonald's. And look at this. She bangs out this stuff like there's no tomorrow. It's crazy. All right, Cleo. And she she's also, I think, yeah, the, the only woman on the server. Yeah, there we go. So that's, that's your jury duty. That's her mailbox. Hopefully she'll notice that. And let's move on to the next one. All right, and here we're going. I believe this is to Biffa's. He's got this super cool nether tunnel. I'd be so paranoid about this burning down, but it looks great. Whoa. What is going on here? That's a great pattern. And now I'm really paranoid as to where all these go. Farm collection area. Center portal. Tree farm. All right, so maybe, I'm, I'm assuming this is the one that you want to go through since it's the first one presented here. Sand mine, maybe not. <laughs> All right, central portal, I hope this is it. I hope this doesn't put us into like a mob farm or something. Whoa, look at that. Oh, it just looks so amazing. So Biff is doing the whole sky base style, which I think is really neat. It's over. It looks like this is a swamp. I think he has a witch, a witch hut too here. Which that's probably the witch hut right there, maybe. Oh, it's just so cool. And then he's got this crazy big farming thing. And it's all automated. Very, very cool. And I think where this this place actually looks most impressive. I hope that we can get back out. It's from down here. Looking up at it. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I just love it. Such an amazing base. Very cool, Biffa. Very, very cool. So Biff has also said, uh, mentioned that he's thinking that he might like to be the judge as well. So we'll see what happens there. But I think he would make an excellent judge. Oh, here's his witch farm. I think you have to go further away for it to show up. Is that enough? I don't know if that's enough space for the light to be kept out, but I'm sure he has something blocking it. But that is so cool. He's probably got so much stuff. He's been living here forever. Oh, I hear a zombie. Whoa, there you go. And there's a map of this whole base. Isn't that cool? Oh, I love it. Hey, what are you doing, little buddy? <laughs> is that your mommy you're holding in your hand? All right, guys, you know where we are. You know where we are. I cannot believe it. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. This is Exumavoid's base. If you didn't know, you should, because what what's unique about this place? He dug out. This used to be a desert. He dug this all out by hand. That's the natural, like, cobblestone in there. And it just looks insane. I haven't been here since he finished. Last time I was here, he I don't he probably hadn't he only made it maybe in like one direction. He has this completely cleared out now. 
I can't imagine how long this must have taken him to do. I mean, it, it took months and months and months and months of playing like every day. And it looks amazing. Absolutely love it, but that's just nuts. Nuts. It looks like the surface of the moon. All right. So, <laughs> let's figure out how, how do we get down. I haven't also been in from this entrance. Um, all right. That's probably to pearl up. This hopefully. Oh, oh. All right. Well, there's nothing to stop me, but yeah, look at his base. He also did this recently. I guess it was several months ago, but doesn't this look great too? Hey, little guy. So very cool. Very nice central area. Looks very, I don't know, kind of looks like maybe almost like a little jungle type of temple. He's got all sorts of vines. I'm not sure what's going on in here. Wow, it just looks great, Exuma. So very, very nice. And I know his, his base is pretty expansive. Let's see, how can I, can I ender pearl up this? I think you would have an elevator or something other than that. Oh, uh -huh. there's his, his sheep farm, his wolf farm. Wow, look at all the stuff he has here. And frame rate's not too horrible here either, which is kind of surprising. There we go. There's his wolf farm. Wow, that's a lot of wool. So pretty cool. Let's figure out where I should put the book. Did I already put I, I forget if I already put it up there or not. I'm starting to get dizzy. This place is just overwhelming. Did an amazing job. Alright, so I think this stuff is all still work in progress. Let's see if I can pearl out of here. Can I make it up that high? Oh, just barely. Yeah, last time I was here, this is all. All his base was, was this. So, he did a great, great job. So much work done. Armor, treasure, tools. Oh, very cool. I want to see how much quartz he has. Oh, you're getting low on the quartz. You're getting low on that quartz. All right. So, let's figure out... Hey, look at all the guys here. <sighs> I got, I got a challenge for you, Exuma. Next, you got to fill in all this with obsidian. How about that? How long would that take you? He's one of those guys that, if he put his mind to it, he'd get it done. Does not joke around. All right. Um, I think we should keep on going up. Oh, he just barely fits there. All right. So, this looks like this is probably his main portal to come in. So, why don't we put our book with the uh, the jury duty thing all right maybe like right there I think that's good onward to the next one all right back to New Hermiton I think we saw everyone's base I could find I went over to tinfoil chefs um at least where the sign said to his house I didn't see it and I'm not really sure how to get to his new place so maybe we can go visit there another time um anyway other members that may may or may not show up that aren't Super active on the server, but are still here. Still Hermits, nonetheless. We have Joostra. Just right over here. That's where he's living. So cool. Let's see. Other players. And of course, Schism and Plungence. We might be able to. We'll, we'll end off over at Plungy, or at Schism's, Schism's base. I don't think Plungy has a base outside. He pretty much always just lives with Schism. Um, we saw Zombie Cleos. We took care of Joe. Um, Tinfoil Chef... Oh, and we also have, we have Unhost, too. So there's for Unhost. And this is his place. And he, he's sporadic, too. <laughs> so pretty cool. I think that's, like, his, his fishing, little fishing shack. Cheaty fishing shack. <laughs> so very nice, very nice. All right, we got him. We just are going to barely make it. Let's make these last few bucks. All right. So there's his tinfoil shafts. He's got this crazy, crazy mushroom, which is pretty neat. We've seen this a whole bunch of times, but goes all the way up, and that's going to take way too long. I know we're already over on time, but very neat. And I'll ask him, I'll hook up with him and see 
how to get to his other base because I didn't see any signs. We'll go check it out maybe next time or a future time. And of course, we have the one and only Corrales. <laughs> Who always has the most amazing homes. Oh, there you go, buddy. Jury duty. Hope to see you there. Let's go take a peek inside. Remember, remember we came over here during the rent a derp episode. We played video games. Ooh, ooh. So fancy. I gotta, I gotta just walk around here. I bet I can figure out how to do the rest of the D McDonald's. <gasps> Pictures. That's, that's what I'm missing. I love these couch designs. Those are awesome. Very cool ceiling. In the kitchen. This is what I gotta pay attention to. Yeah. So I might come back here and hang out for a little bit more. And see what stuff I can pick up from him. It's one of the best builders I've ever seen in my life. It's one of his bathroom. Is that no, that's the bed. That's his bedroom. He can actually sleep in there. Bathroom, shower, toilet. Second bedroom. Guest room. Actually, I think that was the main room. This is the guest room. Oh, it's so beautiful. And I think that's everyone. I don't think there's anyone else that we missed. I probably did. I'm sure I did. But you guys will have to let me know who else, if there's anyone else that we have to go visit and I have to drop off. And I'll just do it off camera. And then we can go visit their bases another time. But I thought this was pretty fun. This is, like I said, I think the first time I did a world tour, uh, a server tour of Armycraft. It's the first time I've been to a lot of those places. You know, other than just watching in videos in months and months and months. So it's pretty nice to just get out of our own little area. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And, yeah, any comments about anything else on the server that I might have missed? This is all the Hermit Town. But we know this because we spend so much time here. And I'll see you all on Saturday. Make sure not to miss it. The, the the court case to find out if Schism and Pungents are guilty of stealing the Abacaving winnings. So, till next time. Thanks for watching. And peace out.